Welcome students to my channel My Way Learning. Today we are going to learn about bricks and bridges. As we all aware about temporary houses and permanent houses, let me quickly recall them. Houses like huts, tents, tree houses and log cabins which are made up of mud thatch, straw, bamboo and wood are known as temporary houses. A tent is made up of canvas or nylon. Whereas permanent houses like bungalow, flats, villas, these are made up of bricks, stone, cement, iron rods, glass, wood, etc. That houses were known as permanent houses. In this chapter, we learn about how a small village boy, Lokan, lived in Arunachal Pradesh, fascinated with huge construction where his father was working as a worker in construction site. Lokan lived in a hilly area with a very small population and his house is made up of mud bamboo, straw and dry leaves. As we can see that his house is built up on bamboo sticks. Can you tell me why? Because that area received heavy rainfall. So to save his house from flood water, these type of houses are built in those areas which receive heavy rainfall. And that houses are known as stilt houses. Houses which are built on bamboo sticks. They were known as stilt houses. One day he got a chance to go along with his father to the construction site. Now let us see what's happened over there. Construction site he saw different type of material were lying around and people were doing different jobs. He saw a huge building which has different blocks of flats. He saw building material like cement, wood, marble, glass, tile, iron rods and bricks. He wanted to know how bricks were made. So his father explained him the process of bricks making. Now let us learn how bricks are making. There are five main steps of brick making. They are mining, tempering, molding, drying and firing. Now let us learn them in details. Mining. First of all, clay is mined. Clay that the soil is mined and stored in the open to make it soft and we remove all the unwanted oxide from it. Then the next step is tempering in which clay is mixed with water to make a dough. Once the dough is prepared then the next process is started that is molding. We take a lump of mixture and then rolled in sand and then we put them into molds as you saw in the picture there is a mold in which we add, put the mixture can you tell me why we roll that into a sand so that the brick does not stick to the mold as when your mother make roti from the dough she also applies some dry flour on it so that it will not stick to the rolling bin. Same way, they also apply some sand, dry sand, so that the brick does not stick to the mold. Once this process is completed, then all of these bricks are taken out and drying process is started, in which the bricks are taken out and emptied onto the drying area. After every two days, 
द ब्रिक्स आर टर्न ओवर फॉर यूनिफॉर्म ड्राइंग वाई वे कीप टर्निंग दैम सो दैट द मॉइस्चर फ्रॉम एवरी साइड गेट ड्राइड अप वंस दिस प्रोसेस इज डन देन वी देन द ब्रिक्स आर रेडी फॉर बेकिंग then the last process is firing in which these bricks are arranged in a kiln for baking where when we bake these bricks bricks which are made up of clay are baked in this kiln and then they become strong bricks once the brick were baked they turn into reddish brown bricks the reddish brown bricks were made in kiln and they were brought to construction site and trucks in the construction site lokan met with ayan who told him about different type of bridges now let us learn different type of bridges one is suspension bridge have you ever go through with lakshman jula that is the example of suspension bridge these type of bridges can cover a long distance and were made up of wood and rock earlier these bridges were made up of wood and rope only but now they were made up of steel have you ever heard about howrah bridge in kolkata that bridge is an example of cantilever bridge now what are cantilever bridges they support the load through diagonal braces it uses truss tie up formation above and below the bridges habra bridge is famous bridge of kolkata then the cable strafe bridge is it use short cables that are attached to the pillars one such example of this bridge is bandra sea link bridge in the arabian sea there are some other types of bridges are one of that is rajamundi railway bridge on river godavari that is example of truss bridge again it is tie up formation then the next one is your movable bridge which is made in bay of bengal at rameshwaram golden bridge in bay of bengal is the example of movable bridge which can be move when a large ships go under the bridge so that bridge can be separated into two parts then the next one is beam bridge which is also known as stringer bridge which is supported by pier of at each end Gandhi Setu bridge in Patna is example of beam bridge then the next one is arc bridge which is the oldest form of bridges since ancient time we use this type of bridges this is a bridge with embankments at each end and shaped as a curved arc Godavari arc bridge in Rajamundri Andhra Pradesh is example of such bridge lokan enjoyed learning about bricks making and different type of bridges i hope you also enjoy learning about different type of bridges and technology used to make these type of bridges and how the bricks are made manually or in machines I hope I make myself clear and now you are aware about all of these topics which are covered in this For more updates keep watching my channel my way learning don't forget to subscribe like and comment on my video thanks for watching me